Thanks for having me, and I would like to give you a short overview on how we want to unite merchants and customers throughout influencer marketing. This is not a topic where we have complete solutions for you, but we're doing a research and a lot of ideas. So this is what I want to present to you today. Um, because this topic is so important, let me ask you a question first. Who bought already a product because of an influencer? Raise your hand. Okay, okay, many people, cool. So, as you said, advertisement is changing, and it changed already a lot. Let's have a look at some different generations and what they rely on in terms of advertisement. Let's start with the Generation X. So, the Generation X is really into the traditional advertisement, like newspapers, TVs, or magazines. Then, of course, loyalty programs, or the word of mouth. So if their neighbor is telling them this product is great and they like their neighbor, they're probably going to buy it. Then the classical email marketing or incentives. The next one, we have the millennials. So millennials exploring advertisement via multi-channel. Typical user-generated content. They are already into influencer marketing. And of course, social media marketing and content marketing. Last but not least, we have the Generation Z. So the Generation Z, they are really deep into influencer marketing. They rely mostly on reviews on shops or platforms. Also, social media, especially TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, or Twitch. And overall, mobile interaction is their number one. And of course, so social selling or social commerce. So let's have a more deeper look into the Generation Z. The Generation Z is really addicted to self-expression and want to gain positive feedback throughout different channels. Their attention spawn is quite low, eight seconds. Just remember the TikTok thing, right? And more than half of them are willing to buy their products because of a positive review or influencer. Social media advertisement, especially successful in the product categories fashion, technology, travel, and food. More than half of them are using a VOD platform at least once per day. And fair trade and sustainability are really important for them in buying decisions. So classical social media advertisement. I think you all doing it with your brand or company. So some advertisement on them maybe, and maybe use them as a support channel for your customers. But in our days, I mean, there are more possibilities. So let's have a look at social commerce. Social commerce is a more and more popular way on how social media platforms are used to sell products. As I said, it offers the possibility to purchase via social media. It has a high interaction rate. And as you remember, Generation Z is really deep into getting positive feedback throughout the community during a live session. If they buy something on TikTok, the community is saying, hey, that was a good choice. Come on. And positive feedback is there. It has often a simple purchase process. And typical features like uh, share, ranking, comments, and likes are there as well. So it's normally used on the own channel or shop as well on ex external platforms. And the market has a huge potential to be the next big thing for a lot of businesses. So in 2023, it was already at one 107 million US dollars on the US market. And the worldwide forecast for in GMV for uh, 2025 is already uh, 2024. Sorry, is already uh, 7.5 billion dollars and even doubled that 2025. So a huge potential there. Let's have a look at some influencer marketing and why this is also still growing up and still important for you. Um, as it's essential. Let's have a look at the size of the market, right? So in 2016 already some time ago, it was at $1.7 billion. And as you can see, the curve is, gr is growing like, whoa, 
And if you see there, expected for this year is $24 billion, 14 times more, so still growing. And also the interactions are much higher on posts which were created by an influencer in comparison to a brand post. Here as an example from Instagram. So also there, more interactions with your brand, with your company through an influencer. Let's have a look at a typical process of an influencer campaign. So first, we have the search phase. It all begins with that. So you go out there to find the right influencers or influencer group for your campaign, including the target audience, costs, and so on, right? The, the search normally is done through social media for your own agencies or networks. Next is the signing phase. So in the signing phase, you do the briefing and the negotiation, and next up comes then the manage phase. So there, you do the content improvement, ensure the compliance, and do maybe some optimizations. But in the last phase, so the outcome phase, you really do like really looking at the analytic stuff, the performance measurement, checking the marketing KPIs, and so on. But the problem is on that, that it's not that straight way. You don't go from one to the last. So let's see what happens. I mean, it could be that in the signing phase, you see, oh, this influencer is quite expensive, or maybe it's the wrong, wrong one where you thought it's, it's OK. Um, and also, in the manage phase, you see maybe, oh, we have to sign more because it wasn't maybe also the right one, but we had one there, and so on and so on. Or even in the outcome phase, you see, ah, that didn't went well. We have to make it again with some different other uh, measurements or whatever. So you see there, it's not that straight away, and it's really complicated. Let me give you some quotes on influencers I talk to. They don't want to be named officially here, so sorry for that, but trust me, I talked to a lot of them. And here are some, just some quotes. So the selection process takes a lot of time and a lot of communication. As I said, it's not that easy to run good influencer campaigns, and also from an influencer perspective, it takes a lot of time. Best converting influencers are small and mid-influencers. So when it comes to conversion, the communities of the not big players in the market are really trust trustful and willing to buy the stuff from their influencer. Of course, the big ones are not like uh, out of the market. They are also really good, but more in terms of brand awareness and so on. But the problem for these small influencers is that they often have trouble to find corporations and have to contact a lot of people, as he said here, keep fingers crossed that some of them will answer me. And the last quote shows, you have to make it easy for the community to go into a promotion or discount. So if the discount code is hard to remember or even has to type in manually the normal conversion killer, right, it's also in influencer marketing a thing. So you might thought already there are some challenges. Yes, they are. First, as I said, it's a lot of time. It's time consuming a lot. Then, binding of resources. It takes a lot of resources and most of the process manual work and is not automated. And last, there are many new merchants to the game which never tried influencer marketing before. So they didn't try it out because maybe of time because maybe of resources. So you think why we as Shopware are interesting and in looking in that area? Because we are the right place for it. We have the right foundation for it. With over 45,000 active shops and 2.6K partners, our platform is interesting for influencers and agencies. Plus, um, with our possibility to easily integrate external tools and bring them into the Shopware universe, we could help merchants even more easy to run social media campaigns. And we could also help to make content creation for social media easy right in Shopware, especially with the power of AI. So what are we currently researching? There are different areas. First, as you might thought, influencer marketing, to start in that area. 
So we look how we could help you, which maybe never start before, going into influencer marketing. Second one, how we can let you save time and resources. And this includes auto, also in manual work automated. Then we have the AI social media assistant. We want to help to get new products fast in your social media feeds. Then, of course, we want to help you for text and picture creation with the power of AI, as I said. And we also want to enrich your social media accounts fast and easy. Last area we are in the research phase is social commerce. By the way, I forgot the question. Who bought already social, over social commerce? Think about a stream where somebody is saying, hey, buy a candy bag or stuff like that. OK, not that much, so potential is there. <laughs> Try it out. So we want to help you there, also starting in that area. We want to have the right connections to TikTok, to other platforms for you. We want to link the purchase process for you. And all that gains to the, this one thing, gain more shoppers. Because at the end, this is your goal, and we want to help you with that goal. So as I said, we are currently in the research phase, right? So I don't have yet now a solution here for you. Here you go and have fun. But we have the store. So you can already have a look in the shopware store, as there are a lot of extensions for that area and ready to use. So feel free to discover that.